let's start. So this second um, open air content providers um, community call, um, an online meeting dedicated to to all repository managers, um, crease managers, uh, um, journal editors that are part of uh, the open air infrastructure that are contributing with content to our um, uh, infrastructure, uh, to be aware of the um, recent developments, to share with us the feedback about um, also the, the type of uses that, do, that you are doing uh, um, about our services and, and for us to share um, some novelties with you um, and to um, and to share all the all the all the new things that we are in, integrating in the in, in our different services. So welcome to this uh, community call. So uh, everyone is welcome to to um, to present and to. Um, and to make questions. So the organization of, of this call is that we have a first um, five minutes where I share some of the, the novelties uh, about our uh, content provider um, dashboard and related services. And then um, we have a main presentation this time and this call is dedicated to the user statistics service. Uh, 25 minutes of an hour and then we have the 25 20 minutes to to receive your questions about the um, presentation of the today the user statistics service or um, or about any other uh, issue that you you have with other um, open air related services or open air um, um, related activities, so from from the guidelines to the different services that we have available. So, I ask you uh, just to, uh, 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 if you have questions during the presentation, you can put it in the chat. But uh, if you want to um, make your question in uh, using your microphone, so you are welcome. This is a, this is a participatory call. So after the, the presentation about the user statistics, so you are welcome to, to join us and to make your question to discuss audio. Uh, we have all the um, all the, um, the channels open to, to your participation. We we don't mute you, so you you are um, uh, you, you you can just. Uh, 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 enable your uh, microphone and, 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 and put your question. So uh, all, the, um, all the information about the, the call, uh, the different calls, links to the, um, to, the, um, to the minutes, to the agenda, to the links to the, to the, um, uh, to the different sessions. So it, it's available in, the, in, the, in this uh, uh, website uh, provide community calls and uh, you have also here a, a short URL uh, that Andre also already shared here in the chat for the notes so you can also put your comments and you make your and we you have also access to the presentation in this in this notes where we have the agenda and the notes so before I give the floor to my colleagues in charge of the user statistics service I just want to highlight um, uh, for different things. There are always, are of course, lots of different other activities in open air that I would also highlight the public consultation that we are running until January about the, 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 the new um, uh, enriched uh, research graph that we have available. So please go to the open air portal and check the, the information about this public consultation. You, I think some of you also receive it via our newsletter. But I, I just want to, to highlight um, uh, three new things related with and available via the dashboard for content providers. So now one is uh, something I think quite important that we have in the, um, in the new, in the broker events, so in the enrichment uh, events that we have available in the, in the content um, component of, of the of the dashboard um, so we have now new uh, events related with the um, orchid so we are sending you uh, some uh, um, so metadata enrichment about orchid about authors that you have in your repository and we found um, um, orchid IDs uh, from those authors that you have you are exposing in your 
repository and then you can use uh, the information that we are sending you via the dashboard in order to enrich your uh, metadata so uh, if if uh, so check in your um, uh, broker events in your uh, private area in the dashboard if you have any event related with orchid at least I know that um, lots of uh, repository managers have already access to this uh, type of um, uh, this new type of events. Um, also about the statistics, uh, for sure, um, my colleagues will talk about that. But we just want to highlight that we also have uh, we share via the dashboard and then via all the support information related with the user statistics service a new. Uh, generic tracker script so a new so um, complementary to the plugins that we have already available for reprints in this space software platforms we also have a generic tracker script uh, to track the users uh, statistic events so um, be aware of of, of of that and check also uh, in, 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 in github or also in our support information in the last uh, information is um, something that came from our community so uh, because of the of the um, alignment that we have between open air and uh, and um, and in Canada and different Canadian university is um, uh, a set of um, Canadian universities have are supporting the development of extensions to this space five and six in order to become Client with um, the open air guidelines literature uh, version 4 guidelines so the last version of the of, uh, guidelines for repository managers uh, which is something uh, so great um, that emerged from the community and so we need uh, this case for Canada so we all can benefit from that by um, February next year so by February 2020 we hope to have this um, the, the the needed developments in order to comply uh, for those that have repositories this space repositories in version six or seven or or five so you will be able to easily to comply with the guidelines um, these are the three main informations I just ju just want to also to highlight that the dashboard the providers board have a public roadmap so check what we are working on and uh, if you have suggestions or if you want to provide some feedback about specific recent developments just share your your thoughts directly in in Trello so we have a public roadmap available in Trello and you can also provide your your comments so um, of course there are other uh, initiatives uh, but if you want to share also some uh, news related with open air please share it in the chat or um, uh, in the second part of our of our uh, meeting. Um, now uh, let's focus on our main uh, subject today: the user statistic service, where my colleagues uh, Andreas, Dimitris, and Jochen. Andreas and Jochen are from Bielefeld University, in charge of all the aggregation process in open air and also responsible for the user statistics service and uh, Dimitri is uh, um, a member from from our technical team in charge of also running the uh, the workflows in the data collection of this um, uh, new open air service so I will give the floor to Andreas to um, to do the first um, service overview uh, I will just um, make Andreas presenter so um, okay now Andreas is a presenter I think yes yes Andreas is now presenter perfect so okay, do you perfect. see the screen yes Yes, perfect. Okay, so uh, thank you, Andreas, and uh, the floor is yours. Thank so you, I, I just want to, before Andreas, uh, take the floor to to um, 
say that I will, I will, I unfortunately in the middle of the meeting, I, did, I need to leave the meeting, so I will not manage the second part, but for my colleagues will, will manage all the discussion around the services and other things, and also my colleague Andre from University of Minho will be able here also to manage the call. So thank you very much for joining, and uh, uh, I hope that you can benefit from this presentation about the user statistics service. So uh, thank you, Pedro. And um, thank you that you are participating in this call for user statistics service. Um, I will do the first part um, and the last part of the user statistics service presentation. And in the middle, I give the floor to my colleague Dimitris from Athena Research Center. And we start with the user statistics service and an overview about <clears throat> the infrastructure. Um, on the right side, you see our open air info space um, with dedicated services that are running in our info space um, to uh, clean up services, to deduplicate records um, from different repositories and um, also for validating repositories. Some of you use this for um, the guideline version 4 or CRIS guidelines so you can validate services, uh, validate your repositories and um, also there uh, are some features of enrichment of records. So um, all these information space would be aggregated from public repositories or research data repositories, CRIS systems, and so on. And um, these produce the open air research graph that are linked projects, results, publications, and so on together. Um, additionally to these info space services, there is the user statistics service. Um, this is dedicated for um, tracking um, log or uh, tracking events, events from your uh, repository that can be um, reached in different ways into these statistics service and also uh, these statistics service produce uh, reports in different ways to expose the information that are collected with the user statistics service. This is a, a short overview about the open air infos, info space and open air graph and uh, the user statistics. And um, the features of the user statistics are um, to track views and downloads. Um, but also we can uh, collecting reports uh, via uh, the counter format. So there are different ways that are um, we describe later uh, in the presentation of Dimitris. Also um, the feature of anonymization of IP addresses. Um, you have the possibilities to anonymize your IP address from of your customers and send this information to our user statistics service. Um, but um, there are some some uh, related uh, some some things to related to the um, data protection in some case in some areas. The second part is that you have seen that we collect many of uh, from from many different repositories, and we have um, 
a deduplication service to deduplicate and or identify um, same records and also um, these deduplication works for the usage artistic service. And uh, last but not least, the counter code of practice, um, the service is compatible to that and produce uh, reporting um, on in this format. So we come to the technical part of the user statistic service in more detail. And I would like to give the floor to Dimitris. Um, somebody else, can you make me the presenter? Of course, one moment. Hey, Dimitris, you, I think you, you can now yeah. share. Yes, I can. I can okay, see. Can you see my screen right now? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, okay uh, I'm Dimitris Pierakos. I'm from Athena Research Center. And let me uh, welcome you uh, to our second community call. Um, as Pedro mentioned, I'm a part of the technical team of the uh, Open Air, and I will try to provide uh, some uh, more technical details of the use statistics service. Uh, for example, what the service is about, what it does, um, how it can be configured, and uh, how you can use the service uh, to get some uh, useful information for your repository. Um, in this uh, slide, we present uh, the architecture and the workflows for the user um, statistics service. Um, there are two main uh, workflows, uh, two main strategies, let's say, for uh, tracking and collecting um, usage activity. The first workflow, which is depicted on the left side of, the, of this figure, um, uh, is based on uh, what we call a push approach. Uh, we provide the tracking software which operates on the, on the server side, it's, uh, uh, meaning on the repository side. Um, and this tracking software is used to push usage activity um, by means of metadata views or item downloads on uh, OpenAir's uh, web, uh, web analytics platform. Uh, the web analytics platform is based uh, on uh, well-known Matomo. Uh, web analytic uh, software, web analytic software. So the tracking software is installed uh, either as a plugins for ePrints uh, or um, as a patch uh, for this space uh, versions four, five, and six. Um, the tracking software operates in real time, uh, meaning that uh, each event, each usage event is sent to Matomo uh, the time it occurs. Recently, as Pedro mentioned, uh, uh, we have developed a, a more generic tracking approach. And uh, in particular, we are providing to repository managers a Python script uh, that it can be configured to pass uh, web server logs, extract the required information only, uh, again, metadata views and item, and item downloads, and uh, subsequently push this information to uh, OpenS Analytics platform. The difference between the, this approach and the, this uh, script and the plugins and patches is that it operates in offline. So uh, uh, it can be scheduled to run anytime, but uh, it does not send the uh, uh, usage activity in, in real time to uh, the Matomo uh, uh, analytics platform. So uh, the usage events that are stored in Matomo are uh, retrieved at a later, uh, at a later stage uh, in Open Air User Statistics Database, where they are processed using um, the counter code of practice, which is now in release uh, four. Um, using this uh, counter code of practice, we remove uh, double clicks and uh, we associate um, uh, item information with uh, our metadata index. So we will be able to hand the uh, uh, duplication and, uh, for instance, extract the user statistics for the same item 
on uh, different repositories. Uh, this information is uh, subsequently used to generate reports, such as graphs in the dash that will, can be used in the dashboard, or uh, counter reports that are exposed using a, a SUSI light uh, endpoint. Uh, we will, I will give examples of these reports later uh, in the presentation. So this is the first um, uh, strategy, the first uh, um, approach or uh, uh, workflow that we use to uh, uh, track usage uh, activity. The second approach, which is, which is depicted on the right side of the, of the uh, slide, is based on a pool approach. Uh, this, ex this workflow is, exploit, uh, is exploiting uh, sushi light endpoints which are provided by aggregators like IRUS UK. And uh, these endpoints allow us to retrieve user statistics in the form of uh, counter reports uh, that contain um, usage information. Uh, these reports are collected, again, are collected in the user statistics DB, processed using information uh, from our metadata index and displayed as reports in the portal uh, or by uh, again by the sushi light uh, endpoint. So this uh, is more or less uh, the, uh, the two approaches that we use to co track and collect the uh, user's activity. So um, just to recap, for the push uh, workflow, tracking workflow, uh, after a user institutional repository registered in open air user statistics service via the content provider dashboard, we provide um, uh, either a server-side uh, real-time tracking plugins for this space or patches for ePrints. E uh, using these plugins uh, or patches, this user's activity is, tra is tracked and logged at OpenAir's analytic platforms in real time. And as a second option, we provide a, a generic log file parser, which is a Python script that parses the repository log files and sends the user's events to OpenAir's analytic platform, but not in real time this time. Um, later, an offline workflow, which is based on Matomo API, transfer and stores user event to open a database for statistical analysis, the duplication, uh, removal of uh, double clicks, etc. And then the statistics are deployed for human uh, uh, in, uh, in open air's portal and uh, uh, for uh, machines, let's say, uh, consumption via the Sushi Light API endpoint. Um, for a, a, a repository to enable the, uh, the metrics uh, uh, and uh, uh, access the uh, user statistics service, uh, we provide in the uh, provider's dashboard um, this um, information uh, on, on what you have to do to enable this uh, service. So for instance, uh, uh, the repository manager has to download the tracking code for the repository platform uh, has to configure the tracking code according to the instructions which are provided and to uh, has, uh, she has to deploy the, uh, the tracking code. Uh, on the open air side, we have to validate the installation of the tracking code uh, by um, uh, confirming that uh, we are uh, receiving uh, software and um, usage activity and accordingly uh, inform the repository manager uh, that everything is, uh, is okay. So by clicking the Enable Metrics button, the repository manager um, receives um, uh, information uh, on, on where he can uh, download uh, the code, uh, uh, depending on the, based on the platform that he has, or, or, or um, for example, as a patch for uh, the space or it prints. And uh, uh, as a generic script, he's also provided with a PWIC ID and an authentication token that, the token that have to be configured um, in order to allow the, the tracking of the user's activity. Um, this is, uh, these are the um, more technical uh, details on the configuration files that, uh, uh, that are supplied for the plugin and patches for uh, this space and the accordingly. You can see that uh, for both uh, platforms, we have to specify the um, endpoint for the, uh, uh, the, the Matomo uh, endpoint, uh, the, uh, which is, uh, corresponds to the um, endpoint of the analytics platform. 
uh, you have to configure the PWIC ID and the uh, authentication, the Matoma ID and the uh, authentication token. Um, PWIC and Matoma are the same. Uh, recently, the PWIC has been renamed to uh, Matomo, but um, uh, the configuration files uh, in the platform use the same, uh, the old name. Uh, PWIC, not Matomo. I don't know uh, when they will be changed. And um, we also uh, provide uh, the option to anonymize the IP address of the uh, user's activity that is uh, tracked. Um, if you, you can specify how many uh, bytes will be hidden, one, two, or three, or you can uh, ignore it uh, completely and uh, deliver a usage activity without the requirement of uh, IP anonymization. And you have also the option to enable or disable uh, the, the tracker. If you, for instance, if you have troubles or if you have uh, technical issues or you want to uh, uh, update your software, etc. The same configuration is uh, um, uh, is required for the uh, ePrints plugin. Uh, you have to specify again the uh, PWC tracker location, the PWC site ID, etc. Um, for the generic tracker script configuration, um, uh, a more um, technical skills, let's say, are required. Um, you have to install um, the, virtual, uh, the Python virtual environment. Um, create a virtual envi environment for the project and activate it. You have to download the counter robots list, which are, it is a list of um, agents uh, that specify uh, uh, a, a, a set of agents that have to be um, ignored um, because they correspond to non-legitimate uh, traffic. So uh, they have to be ignored by our uh, script. Um, you then you download the uh, the Python and con the configuration uh, file. You configure the Matomo parameters in Matomo.yaml uh, uh, file, and uh, after installing, if it's required, the, the PyYaml package, you simply run uh, the importer, or you can schedule it uh, anytime um, uh, it fits you to uh, send the, to parse the logs and send it to our analytic uh, platform. Um, this is a, a, a the generic uh, tracker script configuration file. You have to, again, you have to specify the uh, endpoint. You have to uh, specify, of course, the repository site ID and the, and the authentication token. Token, some parameters for uh, the Matomo. Uh, and uh, uh, the important part is the at the, le at the right side of the um, uh, of the slide where you can uh, you can see that. Uh, the, you have to specify the OI, my PMH uh, preamble of your repository. And uh, you have to specify the metadata location and, and the item location uh, where the, uh, in order to uh, tell the script uh, wh what kind of information uh, it needs to parse. Uh, for example, for the this space, you have to uh, say that uh, the metadata uh, uh, items are located in the uh, handle, uh, uh, have the handle um, preamble or the, for the uh, uh, downloads, you have to say that, uh, you have to tell the script that uh, you should look at the big trim handle, etc. And you can use, of course, regular expressions, uh, which are supported uh, in order to be able to download, uh, to uh, allow the script to send the, the user's activity, to pass the script and send the user's activity to the platform. Um, this information uh, refers to the first workflow, to the push uh, workflow. Um, for collecting and consolidating user statistics reports, uh, the, the, this is the pool workflow. Um, we simply gather consolidated statistics from aggregation services such as, uh, for example, Iris UK uh, using uh, the SUSILI protocols. The statistics are stored to OpenS database uh, for analysis and then are deployed uh, via OpenS portal or SUSILI uh, API. For now, uh, we have 61 repositories which are tracked uh, with Matoma ID. We have 78 repositories which are tracked, uh, which are collected by uh, IRS UK SUSI Light endpoints. And we have also 10 uh, OJS journals from Portugal 
which are also tracked by, uh, which are also co collected by using um, the sushi light uh, endpoints provided. This is the evolution of our uh, metric service. You can see that uh, for the last uh, uh, two years, uh, how the Matomo traffic uh, the, has been evolved and um, how many visits uh, we have during the last uh, uh, two years. And you can see um, some statistics that we uh, have for the last year uh, in terms of views and downloads. You can see the uh, number of views we have uh, uh, and downloads in total that have been um, uh, collected. Uh, we have uh, almost 6 million uh, downloads uh, uh, that uh, uh, have been uh, collected in our uh, platforms. And on the right side, on the, uh, on the top, you can see the um, uh, uh, IRS UK, Open Air, and SAC J o OJS uh, downloads and that, uh, uh, that have been collected. And at the uh, right, uh, at the bottom, uh, you can see that uh, uh, the number of views that have been collected on the, um, uh, from, uh, the, uh, from the Matomo uh, using the uh, push um, approach. Uh, note that um, for now, uh, we collect views only uh, using uh, the Matomo um, uh, uh, tracking software. Uh, because Iris UK uh, does not have uh, does not provide uh, views uh, for now. Uh, using the counter release five, uh, I think they will include also uh, information about metadata views. Um, this is a snapshot of the um, of the user interface. Uh, in the corner provided dashboard where, we, where you can see the um, uh, views and downloads for the for a particular uh, uh, repository in this uh, case we have the um, the repository of uh, university of minio and you can see how the views and downloads for this repository are displayed in the uh, in the content provider uh, dashboard for uh, uh, for each month uh, this is uh, another uh, snapshot from the uh, uh, from the dashboard, where you can see for a, for a particular um, item the the views and downloads that have been uh, uh, tracked in, uh, in two different repositories. Uh, for example, you can see that uh, we have um, uh, for this particular item we have um, a, a number of views for a UTL repository and the number of views for the University of Mino. And we also provide the number of downloads uh, for uh, in, in uh, two different repositories, in UTL and uh, uh, UMino. And this slide refers to um, the feature that we, the functionality that we have discussed uh, about the duplication of, uh, of information. Um, we also mentioned that we provide um, uh, sushi light uh, reports, and uh, these are the supported uh, uh, reports that are uh, compliant with uh, the counter release five. So we provide the reports uh, um, uh, AR1, IR1, RR1, BR1, and BR2, uh, which are number of successful article download requests by month and repository or number of successful item download requests by month and repository, etc. These are provided using this um, uh, endpoint. So uh, you can uh, connect there and uh, specify what, what kind of report do you want. So you can download it um, uh, by means of uh, uh, JSON uh, file. These are, for example, you can have um, uh, this uh, uh, response of either for a repository or for a particular or for a particular uh, item. This can be retrieved using our sushi light endpoints and uh, get uh, uh, user statistics information for uh, either for a repository or for a certain uh, item. So this is more or less for me regarding the technical uh, details of the service. I will um, 
give the floor to Andreas to discuss uh, uh, the next steps and uh, close the talk. Thank you. Thank you, Dimitris, um, for the detailed information about the different uh, plugins and components that we have. Um, from my side, there are um, two more slides um, to present you what we see in the next steps. Um, the first, you, you have seen some screenshots uh, in Dimitri's presentation about our upcoming and new uh, provide dashboard that are uh, actually under uh, <clears throat> we are working on and we improve uh, the visualization of events in these new dashboards. Um, you have seen this in uh, the slide uh, of Dimitri's here. This was our first main point. Um, the second is we would like to offer um, a short snippet code for your repository um, software to embed uh, the usage statistic um, from our analytics service uh, in your repository. So if you use the snippets in your uh, repository software, and embed it um, in the page of an article, um, then the snippet was automatically automatically uh, receive information about the user statistics about these records uh, and um, showing up the numbers um, from Open Analytics Service for you. We also support um, the counter code of practice for research data. We are uh, just working on and updated the counter code of practice uh, from release four to re release five. Um, and the last point is a point that uh, is uh, dedicated to, to um, infrastructures like Omer or La Referencia, Iris UK, to uh, setting up uh, and use a statistic hub to exchange information about uh, user statistics in that case. There are the next steps and in the next year um, we would like to extend uh, some user statistics um, in the way that we have um, um, some cooperation uh, with other projects. Uh, the other projects are in this case, in this example case, <clears throat> use case uh, OpenAPC and um, the service from uh, Knowledge Unleashed, the Open Analytics Service, research service, and we would like to discuss at the moment a um, layer of uh, open research analytics services um, from these different sources um, to get a better understanding about the transformation of open access um, in the European countries, but all over the world, let's say. This is future and um, it's like that we are working on at the moment. And I would like to close and would like to thank you. Uh,